All right, good morning, Wildcats. It's Friday. It's fun. I'm here next to the hot, fresh pizza spinner thingy where you get your breakfast. We want you to look fresh all next week, so let's check in on our spirit days. Jack, on Tuesday, kick off the week. Don't forget, we don't have school on Monday. Th enjoy your three-day weekend. Tuesday, what's the dress-up day? Black and white day. Black and white day. Very simple. Roll out, wear your favorite sweats, hoodie, whatever you want, or a great t-shirt here like what Jack has. Uh, looks like Honest Abe Lincoln. Interesting fact about Abe Lincoln, I just heard. He's in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Only pre U.S. president that's in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Showing off those muscles. Four sets and seven reps ago. Uh, where's Lincoln rank in your favorite presidents? Um, I don't really rank them. I'm sorry. Um, you're ruining my bet here, Jack. Uh, <laughs> two. Thank you. Thank you. Eugene's top three for just about everybody. On Wednesday, we have... Movie day. Movie day. Dress up as your favorite character from a movie or a shirt that represents a movie. What... <laughs> no so what is your favorite movie and why? Oh my gosh. Um... Uh, favorite movie? Oh, <laughs> that's a difficult question. What's yours? I have no idea. Oh, I can't think of one at the moment. Favorite movie? Oh god, um, I don't know. What's your favorite movie? I don't have a favorite movie. What do we have here? We have Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Uh, classic books and movies. What's your favorite uh, house, would you say, from Harry Potter? Uh, Ravenclaw. All right, she's a Ravenclaw. Where are your favorite movie on Wednesday? And then on Thursday, we have... Favorite Musical Artist Day. Favorite Musical Artist Day. You can wear your favorite concert t-shirt. Who's your uh, favorite musical artist right now? Taylor Swift. T-Swift. She's a Swifty. What's your favorite Taylor Swift uh, album? Now this is an open shut case. Evermore. Evermore. So in her most recent hit, Antihero, she says she's the problem. It's her. Do you like singing along to that song? Are you find saying I'm the problem? Yes. Okay. Good. Way to be strong and confident. And on Friday, our dress-up day is... Celebrity Day. Celebrity Day. And I mean, just looking at you guys, I know we got Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker here, right? What uh, inspired you guys to go with them? Well, there's another day for like music artists, so the only really like, celebrities that I know is like the Kardashians, to be honest. I mean, they're everywhere. And I mean, you decided to add the face tattoos. I'm hoping those are temporary. Uh, yeah, it's eyeliner. We gotta go all in, so. Way to go extra on that. Dress up as your favorite celebrity on Friday. All right, Wildcats, have a great Friday. Have an excellent three-day weekend. And we got a little special treat for you from the broadcasting class. A little look back at the swimming and wrestling season. So when and why did I start wrestling? Oh, I started wrestling when I was pretty young. So like, well, not too young, maybe like 10, 11. So I think I was in third grade when I started wrestling. But then I started competing in the fifth grade. And I started wrestling because both of my older brothers wrestled. Um, I tried soccer out. It was fun, but I kind of didn't like it. So, I mean, I tried this out and I just kind of fell in love like from day one. But like, you know, it's, it's actually kind of cool because me and Connor uh, we're both the uh, team captains this year, and we both started wrestling on the same day, so that's pretty cool. What got you into wrestling? A good friend of mine named Isabella was in the team, and she invited me to come try it out, and I liked it. So uh, what keeps you motivated to keep wrestling? Um, what motivates me is the fact that there's other girls in our team, so I want to motivate them, so that that's, like, my motivation, and also, like, Obviously, trying to go for the title to state. What does it mean to you to be Wego's first girl state champion wrestling? Um, I think it's really important because it like shows to like Wego and like to a lot of like other schools that like you know girls can do it too. Do you have anything to say to any girls who are on the fence about joining wrestling? I say try it out. You never know if you're gonna end up liking it, and you know don't be scared because. We're not here to judge, and we all start somewhere. 
What are your goals for the season? My goal is kill it at regionals. I'm already this far. I can't, I can't let it go this time. All right, what keeps you going to your goals? Hey, I stay hungry. How long have you been wrestling for? This will be my fifth, sixth year. What are your goals for this season? To win conference and hopefully get to like sectionals and like state. I kind of just wanted to try something new without, like, just want to try something new. What do you have to say to any girls who want to join wrestling? Um, to just, like, give it a try because you might not know if you like it or not. Okay. What inspired you to join wrestling? Uh, my football coaches really, they really, um, the, they just really inspired us too. They said it would be great for, our, um, for my position. Uh, I play lineman and they told me it would be great. And so I just inspired, that inspired me to join. What are, what are your goals for this season? My goals for my season, at least place first in conference and see how far that takes me. Hopefully, go to state. Good luck to you. Thank you. What got you into wrestling? My dad did. So I was five, six years old, sitting on the couch. Dad's like, hey, uh, do you want to try out wrestling? Had no idea what it was. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll give it a shot. So sure enough, I went out and uh, I never looked back at the journey. Really, I just I just stuck with it. I was like, I love this sport. I really want to stick with it. And uh, I'd really been in the sport for, I wrestled for 16, about 16 years. And I've uh, been involved maybe 19 now. What's your uh, message to anyone who's on the fence about joining wrestling or wants just a little bit of extra motivation to keep going? I would say if you're willing to push yourself, uh, I would say go for it. Uh, this isn't an easy sport for everybody. Uh, I'm going to be brutally honest. Uh, the room's 60 to begin with. Halfway through the season, drops down about 40. Those are usually your guys. Even sometimes that's divided in half, but really it's just divided up to who's got the biggest heart and who's willing to put the work in. You can't make somebody do it. Your name is Troy Rary? Yes, and teach, sorry, you've been coaching swimming here at Weibo for how many years? Uh, this is my fourth year coaching at West Chicago. Uh, I think 12th or 13th overall. Well, I think we have a lot of club swimmers, kids who take the sport seriously, who train year round. Uh, we pull from uh, the Sharks, obviously, which is the West Chicago club team. Um, but then there, there, uh, the Academy Bullets is a, another club team that we pull from, and then FMC Aquatic. So we do have a lot of pretty serious swimmers who train year round. So I think that's that's a big part of it. Um, when they come to us in November, uh, they're in pretty good shape and they're ready to go. So um, we can kind of hit the ground running and uh, train them pretty hard from that. Yeah, so it's a pretty even amount from all three schools. This year we have 25 boys on the team. Um, in years past, uh, for last year we had 30. Uh, but it's it's a nice blend of all three schools. Not one school dominates the co-op. Um, I think we'll do pretty well. Last year we took seventh at the state meet. Uh, we graduated two seniors who were pretty important to the team. But uh, Brady Johnson is a really good swimmer. Um, he will probably take top six at two individual events. Uh, Ryan Fors is another really good swimmer from Batavia. 
Um, I'm hoping that he scores a point or two at the state meet. And then we have two relays that right now are ranked top six in the state. So um, I'm hoping that we can finish top six in multiple different events, and hopefully we can go top 10 at the state meet again, again this year.